Okay, here we go. Module three. See, we're creating a little mini course. Module three, creating your YouTube thumbnail file. So I'm going to uh, start a screen share again. And I'm going to go to Canva. C-A-N-V-A. C-A-N-V-A dot com. Home, Canva. All right. <clears throat> now, if you don't have any designs yet in Canva for thumbnails, all you got to do is go here to this YouTube thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail, and click on it. What? Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There you go. And so there's your YouTube thumbnail. Now, with Canva, and I'm not going to do a complete Canva training here, but with Canva, they've got lots of other things you can you can do. I mean, for example, I could pull that over, just change the title on it. What's going on there? What are your challenges? Let's get rid of all that stuff in the background. Let's make it a little bit smaller. I think 132 is probably a little bit aggressively big. How about 48? Okay, what are your challenges? And what are these? We've got to get rid of these black things. Um, okay, so let's just leave that alone. Okay, so, I mean... There you are. I mean, there's a there's a thumbnail with a really, really actually gorgeous picture. And if I wanted to, and look, here's one, how to stay healthy and fit, okay? Uh, but if I wanted to, I could also go to my uploads. I could find my picture of me, which is in here somewhere. Where's the picture of me standing up? There it is. No, that's not it. Uh, that's not me standing up. Well, it, it was me standing up, but I could also bring my little image over. I'll make this a little bit smaller. Bring it over. Come on. Smaller. Bring it over. Smaller. All right, there we go. There we go. And then I could find where is, where is, what have I done to? Because that's going to come over with the white background. We don't want that. I wonder what I've done to. Huh, this is very strange. I seem to have lost the images of me that have the background removed. That's not it. Sorry, folks. Well, I don't see what I'm looking for. Well, let's not let's not waste let's not waste any more time on it because that one comes over with a uh, with a white background. We don't want that. Well, 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 well. That's a white background too. Yeah, we don't want that. Get out of here. Now I've done it. Now I've messed the whole thing up. I mean, that's not what I want. But okay, why not? Just put a background in. Playing with it. Come on, 
Come on, come on, you can do it. Poor computer. Molasses in winter. Come on, come on, come on. What is going on here? What is going on? I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to cancel that. Okay. So anyhow, you can start with the YouTube thumbnail. Oh, these do have the white. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You can start with the YouTube thumbnail, which is what I had started with just a moment ago. and go from there. Now, what I wanna do, however, is I'm going back to Home Canva and I'm gonna go all my designs because I have, um, I have several of these that I've uh, been playing with and so let me just grab that one. Edit it. We'll change the change the verbiage. And let's put some more text in. I'll move it on. Put in. Don't come. And we're going to change the color of that text. Make it white. Here's our little color wheel. Make it white. Let's make all of it white. <laughs> come on, come on, kids, you can do this. Okay. And let's make all of it white. Okay. And let's make this substantially smaller, maybe 28, and move it down. I don't know. Okay, this feels like it needs a question mark. Um, and we can leave it alone. I don't like that white background. I don't know why that, I don't know. I'm gonna go look for my images that don't have the background, have the background fully removed. But at any rate, this is, I mean, you can do whatever you want. This is a uh, YouTube profile. So let's call it challenges. Let's call it, what are your challenges? And we're gonna lay, we'll just go put TN for thumbnail. So we'll be able to figure out what it is. And now we're gonna go download it. Here we go, download it as a PNG file. Okay, here it is. We're gonna right click it, show in folder. And then I'm going to right click it again and copy it. Just get rid of all these folders and come over here to our 
folder where we've got our videos and everything else, and we'll just paste it in there. So there is our thumbnail. Okay, right there. Now, so what we're going to do is go back to our video. Let's get rid of all this stuff that we don't need now. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay, here's our video. We're back to our video page. So now, custom thumbnail right there. I'm going to click that, and we're going to go right there. What are your challenges? And up it comes. Okay. So now we have our custom thumbnail. And if we sit here, it says it's saving the draft. If we sit here and wait, there it is. So there we have it. We've done, we've done everything we set out to do. We've uploaded our video. We've put in our description. We put in, put in our tags. We've said it's going to be public. Uh, we've got our custom thumbnail. And all we've got to do is click publish. We're all done. Video's published. Okay? Now, while you're sitting here, I'm going to give you one more step that I take. I copy the URL. Actually, I'll take the URL and put it over in the file folder with the other stuff, too. But I use a service called OnlyWire, and it is, it is a paid service. I don't remember how much it is because it's annual. But Only, uh, OnlyWire is a distribution it distributes whatever you put on it to multiple sites. I have it set up to distribute to seven sites. Click add new post, drop that URL in, and hit post to seven profiles. So it posts to several other places, and that's it. The video is distributed to several other places. You can distribute, I think, up to about 25 places with this. I don't use them all, uh, but you can. You just get some additional distribution. So that is the end of this. Let's stop the share. So we downloaded the video from Facebook. We saved it. We changed its name. We uploaded it to YouTube. We wrote a description. We put the description in. We went to Canva. We created a thumbnail. We put a thumbnail. We saved the video in YouTube. And uh, that's it. We're all done. If we, in fact, go back and look at our YouTube channel, which We open the YouTube channel. We will see that today's video pops right up. There it is. Okay. We're all done. Okay. So I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to stop the recording.